Number 36. Indicate the SI base units or derived units that are appropriate for the following measurements. Okay, so I see that I have A through G here. So the first thing I'm going to write is A through G. <laughs> Let's do the alphabet. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Perfect. So before we even dive into that, I just want to go over quickly your SI unit, the base units that you should memorize. So over here, um, we have the SI system. So it's all of your base units for all of the properties that's being measured. Now, they didn't include two units. I'm going to write them down quickly in a little bit. But I just want to let you know that this unit from here on out, this chart, you will use these units a lot. We're starting to get into math. Don't be, don't be scared. But with the math, you're going to see a lot of these units. So you might as well just get comfortable using them now. So just know that the base units, and base units just means standard. So your go-tos. So your standard unit of length is a meter, which is always abbreviated by M. The standard unit for any mass is a kilogram. It's not pound. That's the English system. We use kilograms here. Time is in seconds. That's the SI unit. Hours and um, minutes are not part of the SI unit. And temperature is Kelvin. Now, you might say, where's volume? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> They left it out, so I'm going to add it here. Volume, the name of the unit is meters cubed, the standard unit. It's not liter. The liter is not the standard unit for volume in the SI system. It is actually meters cubed. So in this case, you would represent it by M cubed because normally, how would you find a volume? A volume of a cube is length times width times height. And if the length is a meter, standard unit, it would be m times m times m, because technically they're all lengths, just different words. Width and height, it's, it's all length. So meter times meter times meter, oh, there's three meters, meters cubed. And then the last one that they left out is density. Density, the name of the unit would be meters, actually, no, just kidding. Density would be grams per centimeter, maybe that's why they didn't put them down, but centimeter cubed, but I think they're important. So just know that density, the standard unit is G slash CM cubed, grams per centimeters cubed. All right, now with that in mind, let's see if we could think of the base units or the derived units that are appropriate for these measurements. Now, derived units are basically like the extra units that are tied onto your SI units. So for example, your base unit would be a meter, but your derived unit would be any one that has a prefix to it. So a kilometer or kilometer, a centimeter, etc., etc., etc. Those would be your derived units, and you can use that system, kilo, centi, deci, you name it, for basically any of these. All right, so for A, the length of a marathon race, which is 26 miles, 385 yards. So the base unit technically would be meters, so I'm going to put that as an M. But that's a long race. Usually, that would be so many meters. I would say maybe hundreds of meters. Don't quote me on that though, but it's a lot. So we can use, I'm just going to say a lot of meters. So we could use meters, but a better unit would be better. It would be the kilometer, which is the larger form of a meter. This would be a derived unit, but either one is acceptable. B, the mass of an automobile the mass is kilograms already, the standard unit, so this is perfect, kg. The volume of a swimming pool, now we know that the standard unit for volume is meters cubed. So that would be the unit that you would use to find out the volume of a swimming pool. 
The speed of an airplane. Well, what does speed equal? Speed is distance divided by time. So a distance is a type of length, technically. So it would be length over time. And length, we know, is a mass over, in this case, time is the seconds. So the unit, the SI unit for speed would be meters per second. Next one, the density of gold. Now we know that the standard unit for density is grams per centimeter cubed. The area of a football field. Well, I'll put area over here. What does area equal? Area is length times width. Kind of like how volume was length times width times height, but area is just length times width. So here, the length was in meters, and the width, it's still kind of like a distance, so it would still be meters. So area would be m times m area, and that would turn into m squared. So that would be the answer for f, m squared. So m squared is always an area, m cubed is the volume. And then last but not least, the maximum temperature at the South Pole on April 1st, 19, eight, uh, 1913. Temperature is, SI unit is Kelvin. It, it's not Fahrenheit and it's not Celsius. It is Kelvin. So this one is capital K. And notice that there is no degree sign for K. We see a degree sign for Fahrenheit and Celsius, but there is no degree sign for Kelvin because there is not. So please do not write K with a notch on the top. No, no, it's just K. The other ones you can, but Kelvin, there is no degrees. All right, guys, that answers the question. Hope this helped out. If it did, click that subscribe button. It lets us know that you guys are doing well. And in other news, I will see you all in the next question. Take care now. Bye-bye.